Welcome to the second part of our series on Basel World 2018, still the world's largest and most important watch exhibition. In the second and final part of our annual series, we'll continue our countdown of the 10 most significant trends influencing the luxury watch industry. This time around, focusing on technical innovations and watchmaking creativity. Plus, we'll share our list of our top 10 watches in the 2018 edition of the world's most anticipated watch fair. So join me, I'm David Seldran, and this is part two of the executive class coverage of Baselworld in Switzerland. In the previous episode, we showed you how luxury brands are responding to disruption and uncertainty in the industry with safe, sober designs and tried and tested strategies. Quick look around the exhibition floor, it's obvious. Retro and vintage designs continue to dominate Basel world, but not all brands are looking at the past for inspiration or out of sheer desperation. Some brands like Hublot are looking at the future and their collection this year, 2018, is just mind-blowing. Hublot, born in 1980, is a kid compared to most Swiss brands that came of age centuries ago, and it shows. Hublot's watches are known for their exuberant designs with oversized cases, flashy dials, and especially unique materials and unusual alloys. They call it the art of fusion, and models like the Big Bang have become icons, a favorite among celebrities and athletes, and yes, serious watch collectors, the Ublotistas, who consider Ublo an exciting new player in an industry dominated by conservative names. It's a world of uh, success, it's a world of dynamism, of creativity, of innovation, of uh, being one step uh, forward, so it's a world of people that, you know, uh, you, get, you get energy, you know, and um, this world for us is uh, representing by our message the art of fusion, you know, and uh, we want always also a philosophy to be unique, uh, different, and the first in everything that we do, and people really identify themselves. Like using unique materials such as magic gold, carbon fiber, ceramic, and lately, a lot of sapphire crystal. Two of their show stoppers this year were made almost entirely out of sapphire challenge to make and use in watches, considering it's the second hardest material after diamond. It's practically unbreakable. Wow, this is really amazing. I've never seen a watch this clear. You can see right through it. It's all glass. You see skeletonized movements, but this is different because exactly. the case, some of the components. Because you can see through actually the tubion exactly. part. The Big Bang to Beyond Power Reserve 5 Days is a delight to look at, an almost invisible watch, save for the few gears in the skeletonized to Beyond that seem to float on air. The other, the Big Bang MP11 Power Reserve 14 Days, is also crafted from sapphire, with a surface contoured to house 7 series coupled barrels and a power reserve indicator. An amazing feat! Considering the extreme hardness of sapphire, not to say the complex movement is an emerging miracle on its own. The watch is also offered in a contrasting black case made of 3D carbon, another wild innovation perfected and industrialized by Hublot. Innovation is key for the success of Hublot and we're working on the material side, we have a lot of projects going on. We have uh, maybe 20, 20 or 30 projects going on at different levels of the, either metal or in the ceramics. And this year we come with the red ceramic, uh, vivid, uh, vibrant red ceramic for the first time of the history. And there again, a long work, research and development of four years to, to achieve this color. And we're always, always looking for, for, for novelties. Yes, you heard Hublot's CEO right, red ceramic. Like sapphire, pure ceramic is pretty much bulletproof, a super hard material which until recently has been impossible to create in any vivid color. 
the 45mm Big Bang Unico Red Magic with an in-house manufactured chronograph movement is exactly that, watchmaking magic in fiery red. Hublot's alchemists are at it again with yet another extraordinary alloy, carbon gold, which returns in the new Big Bang Unico TMT model, a collaboration with, well, who else would wear bling like this? The vainglorious boxer Floyd Mayweather of the money team. TBE, what does TBE stand for? <laughs> the best ever. The best ever. <laughs> that is so Floyd Mayweather. Right? Yes. It's not just new alloys and sapphire. Hublot employs exotic skins and vintage fabrics too. The classic fusion Berluti collection, a collab with a legendary French shoemaker, gets two new colors this year, ocean blue and Bordeaux for the leather strap and dial. The fashionable Big Bang one-click Italia independent line adds a green velvet dial in a green ceramic case encrusted with diamonds. It's cool, even for men. Like Hublot, Omega has been at the forefront of new materials development, though they're not as flashy or trendy. We've come across Omega's own ceramic watches, and alloys like Sedna Gold and Sarah Gold in previous collections. In 2018, Omega's expertise in polished ceramic turns up in the dials and bezels of the latest line of Seamaster 300M dive watches introduced 25 years ago. What's new is Omega's application of enamel for the dive scale on the ceramic bezel, a first for any watch in the world. So what is new now, the, the, you have also the bezel. Mm. The bezel is in ceramic mm -hmm. and the white numbers and scale you see on the steel watches is enamel. It's very hard, mm -hmm. so we have to find a way to do it and we use ceramic. So ceramic, and after that was domed, we added uh, enamel, you put it in the oven, you take it back, you do that five, six, seven okay. times, always you polish in between, and it was great. So we said, if it works with ceramic on a dial, it will work on a bezel. And so but the big advantage will be that the color will stay. To celebrate the anniversary of the popular 300M, tantalum, a rare, lustrous metal, was likewise applied to the bracelet and bezel along with titanium and Omega's very own Sedna Gold. The 2018 Dark Side of the Moon Apollo 8 edition gets more than just a ceramic bezel. The entire watch is made of black zirconium oxide ceramic with a laser ablated skeletonized dial and movement depicting the surface of the moon on the front and rear side in hyper-realistic detail. In an age when any smartwatch or mobile phone can tell the time anywhere in the world, or track the month and day way into the future. One wonders why some brands still bother to develop new mechanical minute repeaters, world timers, and perpetual calendars, three of the most difficult watch complications to perfect. Well, Patek Philippe has pushed the envelope further in 2018, with two new grand complications that break their previous records. At last year's Baselwood Fair, there was no new Nautilus model. Well, this year there's a new one, so it's worth the wait because this one is a very special piece. It's the very first grand complication in a Nautilus watch. A perpetual calendar of that. Behold the new reference 5740 Nautilus in white gold. Patek's iconic sports watch with a perpetual calendar, a rare movement that tracks the date accurately without adjusting the calendar annually. This is the thinnest perpetual calendar self-widening in the collection, even uh, thinner than the 5140, the Calatrava model. It, it has only 8.42 millimeters. Handcrafting a perpetual calendar is difficult enough. Making it fit and function properly in a slim case is even harder. But grand complications in small and slim cases are a Patek Philippe specialty. And they've done the same with an even more challenging combination of complications in the reference 5531 World Time Minute Repeater wristwatch. This one, a prototype of the groundbreaking timepiece. 
this is the first time that we uh, what that we linked uh, two great complication, minute repeater and world time, but we didn't want to do uh, just a world time for world time. We wanted to to a reason to have a world time with a minute repeater to strike the local time. That was the idea of the, the at, at the beginning yeah. to link the, the two. To achieve that, they had to rethink existing watch mechanics and reinvent traditional watch architecture for the new caliber. Reference 5531 will chime like a regular minute repeater, but unlike others, will do so to indicate the local time in your destination, a world's first, and in a rose gold case that still manages to look elegantly diminutive. It's always fun to see historic watch brands at Basel trying to outdo each other in the field of grand complications. Last year was Chopard's year with their LUC Full Strike Watch Minute Repeater winning the prestigious Eguido at the Geneva Grand Prix d'Orlogerie. LUC is for Louis Ulysse Chopard, the founder, which Chopard's elite watchmaking division was named after. For 2018, two new LUC watches are wowing watch complication aficionados. The LUC Quattro with its elegant dial is one of the most acclaimed calibers, a self-winding movement with a proven nine-day power reserve. It's got a mind-boggling power reserve because of the four barrels in the movement. Another is a rare LUC all-in-one, a genuine grand complication and Chopard's most complicated watch to date. Wow, this is the watch I've been waiting for. And it's called the LUC All-in-One. All-in-One? Yes. It's an appropriate name for a watch, at least this watch, because it's got 14 indications packed into a single watch. And you see it on both sides. For the 2018 model, Chopard reworked the dial and case back. So the 14 indications, everything from basic time and date to exotic astronomical indications, appear more legible and elegant in its perfectly proportioned gold case. A feat only a few grand complications and only a few brands like Chopard and Patek Philippe are able to achieve. Prove indeed that in this digital age, the market for high-end mechanical watchmaking is still the rage. When our Basel World Report continues, we'll count down the remaining three trends in 2018, plus our top 10 watches of the fair.